Hi! Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Ben Nader. So this week we're going to be doing a yarn review. Uh, this week we're going to be going into Sugarbush, um, Eddie Betty, uh, name of the yarn. Um, so I will put all the information in the description below in case anyone's interested. Um, it is 65% fine superwash moreno, 25% nylon, and 10% cashmere. Um, so a nice little mix here. Um, it's 153 yards and 140 meters. Um, so I used five skeins um, to do kind of like a lap blanket um, with a pattern in it. Um, so obviously this one is black, gray, and white. Um, now the pattern is not showing up that well on camera, but um, I think it kind of illustrates one of my kind of complaints with this. The yarn is very soft, the yarn is very nice, but the color change happens very quickly. Um, after a couple of inches, it goes on to the next color. So if you want to do something that has kind of a detailed pattern to it, this might not be the yarn for you. Um, if, you do, if you want something very colorful, now they do have other um, dye jobs with this yarn, um, or different colors, different palettes, so it can be very colorful. Um, if you just want something to be colorful and change colors a lot, this is a good yarn. But for pattern work, I don't recommend it. Um, but otherwise, I don't really have that many complaints about it, um, because it's easy to work with. It is a fine our yarn. Um, it's super fine, as it's characterized out of. Um, I would have liked to get more yardage per skein, um, you know, with a finer yarn, finer, um, yarn, but that's just a personal thing. So it's definitely worth checking out, um, and taking a look at, um, just because it is a good quality yarn, but the color change is really quick for this yarn. So, uh, just kind of depends on what you're looking for and what kind of project you're working on. If, you're doing, if you like doing a lot of pattern work, super detailed, fine pattern work, I wouldn't recommend this yarn. Now, um, the other kind of issue with this yarn is that it is, well, maybe not issue, but um, it is made in Italy. So um, the website you can go to, which I will put in the description below, um, you cannot buy it directly from them. You have to go through a retailer. Um, I looked around, maybe I just didn't see it, but they do have a list of retailers on their website and it does seem like they sorry um there are a lot of retailers that sell it but um you would have to go to the store or find a store that might ship to you um if you don't want to go physically into a store at this point in time um that's also minor setback so um definitely check it out um if you have any comments current uh concerns let me know in the down below and if there's any other yarn that you had your eye on that you want me to go check out let me know and i'll be sure to check it out and i'll see you next time bye